Okay, today we're making our water. We've got a bucket, we got a trap supply, we have a 3 quarter inch PVC pipe. Uh, we'll be taking these uh, poultry cut waters, and these will just screw into this. What uh, supplies I have are just a rundown of that. I have a uh, 3 quarter inch PVC fitting with threads on the end, it's elbow. And then I have a female coupling that'll screw on top of this. This is just what we found at Trap Supply. And then I have a 3 quarter inch fitting to a uh, what size is that? 3 eighths hose bar. I'll go into this end right here. And then we have a 3 quarter inch cap for this end. So that's pretty much what the pipe will look like. And then um, for the bucket, we have. I think this is uh, a half inch will be it's reverse thread, so don't go thread it the wrong way. This will go off. This will fit to the bucket, and then for that, I have a half inch to. Half inch to a three eighths bar right here. This is for you. So all the supplies that you need is a bucket, you need these two fittings, uh, this white one screws into this black, this is going to go into the bucket and this is what hooks to the tubing, mm -hmm. do you have our tubing? And then, um, so this is the tubing that's going to go from the hose, from the bucket to the um, pipe, and then we've got the pipe, the tubing is going to hook onto this. Elbow which hooks to the um, PVC pipe. We have got some um, PVC cement that we're going to seal all our things with to make sure we don't have any leaks when we get done. We also had to get an end cap there, and we got these um, poultry waters from Tractor Supply. So he's going to go ahead and cut the hole in the bucket. <laughs> So we cut it a little bit higher so that any sediment that might be in the water or anything won't come out into our um, watering system so we don't mess up our um, cups. So this should screw right into here. And does it have like a little rubber washer on there? Does it seal it? Daddy, yeah, it's got seal it. So he's going to go ahead and thread tape around all the um, threads just to um, make sure it's still good and we don't want to have any leaks.
a space right here because this is actually going to be split between two separate quail coops. So these three will be in one coop and these three will be in our other coop. And now we're just going to seal everything up and get it all together. Putting the PVC contact cement on. So we're all done getting this into our bucket and all those pieces on there and then all we got to do is hook our hose up now and gonna put some water in the bucket and test it out. So we've got two separate coops. There's a divider here in the middle and we're going to make this one water work out for both coops. We're going to cut a little hole there in our dividing. get all the eggs? Is that all we had was three, buddy? That's all we had today so far. This in? You don't mind. I don't know. You want to, you want to get that in? Cook them through? Cook yeah. them through? Don't zip it down all the way back. I'm not. Just get over. Okay. This is the back of the quail coop. This is where the bucket is going to be mounted. So we've made this little mount here. And he's just going to go ahead and put that in. Then we're going to put our bucket on top. Our two will come down. And put and set it up there just so we can see how that's going to do. So the gravity will pull the water down into the water. All right, so the birds just tap on this with their beaks and it fills those little cups up of water. And there we have a constant supply of clean, fresh water for them. Thanks for watching our video. Please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe for more videos from our little farm.